Man oh man have I been missing making videos, but as promised today's video is going to be a Q&A uh, taken from uh, the previous announcement about the uh, Q&A. So if you have a question um, about what I'm doing, throw it in this video and I'll answer it in another Q&A. Uh, Alright, let's begin. Alright, so let me just give you guys a quick update as to what is going on. Um, it's right now mid-April. I have my eyes on a couple possibilities as far as buses. Um, the person helping me, I will put on the screen right now, his name is Michael. He's, in my opinion, the best bus builder <laughs> on planet Earth. His bus is just beautiful, as you can see from the pictures. Um, so we're going to be putting something together, uh, something together, together, something together, together. Yeah, uh, we're going to be building together. He's going to do a very detailed how-to video series, and I'll continue on with my kind of um, uh, easygoing, fun, <laughs> you know, vlogs, uh, which I think I'm going to start doing every other day. Um, I enjoy commenting, interacting with you guys, and you know, when I have more spare time. Uh, a little bit easier workload, and actually, um, you know, it's just nice to be able to breathe for a change. Oh, and one other announcement slash heads up, um, since I will be converting to vegetable oil, if anyone is sitting on a hundred gallons or more of used cooking oil, if someone owns a restaurant and you can hang on to some, if you work at a potato chip factory and you have access to the oil or they'll, you know, willingly give it to me, um, I would love to, to stop by and collect that from you on the trip. Um, so just keep that in mind because further along in the build, I'll be looking for people. Um, it'd be fun to hang out, you know, with you for a day if you work at a potato chip factory maybe you could show me around teach me how potato chips become potato chips that would be amazing I'm super curious about that kind of stuff they call me crazy um, so yeah um, cooking oil only I know there's I can also run waste engine oil um, I prefer not to do that um, I'm gonna try and store it inside the bus so the toxic fumes you know what I'm saying let's just keep it to cooking oil. Oh, and it has to be non-hydrogenated. Uh, the cleaner the better. And, um, yeah, if there's like Crisco or something, like, that's a big, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, first question for the Q&A. Where do I see myself in five years or even ten years? Will you still be living in the bus? Um, wow. Five years or ten years? Jeez. <laughs> I don't even know, five years. Uh, hopefully I'll still be making videos, traveling more places, uh, probably in a, a different vehicle, I suppose. I mean, I got in and out of this one in uh, two years. <laughs> like I briefly uh, touched on before, I, I think it would be fun to do an international type of trip, um, uh, perhaps on a motorcycle uh, or a different kind of vehicle. Um, I'm not opposed to bicycles, uh, hitchhiking, uh, trains, um, it just whatever kind of I can make sense of in, in my mind and in my bank account, really. Next question, am I taking badge with me to look at buses? Man, I sure do wish. Um, I did call him, but uh, badge is definitely with me in spirit. Uh, you know, anytime I go and, and look at mechanical stuff. <laughs> or pancakes. <laughs> How many miles have I put on the bus uh, in total? Uh, about 50,000 miles. Uh, from the moment I picked it up, it had 103, and then when I sold it, it had about 153, so, yeah, about 50. Does Badge have a channel? Yes, he does. Um, I'm not sure if he has two, but the one that he has been, uh, responding to people, uh, most recently was, uh, v Light RV ING. Uh, it's for the make a trailer that he has. Alright, next question. How many states did I visit in the bus? Uh, well, I drove through about 30 in total from the moment I bought the bus uh, uh, towards the end. Um, but I would say I only really visited about 16. Um, 
staying, you know, or driving through a place for a day or two, in my opinion, isn't really uh, visiting. It's just kind of passing by. Uh, you don't really see much except for, uh, you know, rest stops and um, the freeway, really. Very nice comment. And next question uh, is, have I thought about uh, posting a, a wish list? Uh, <laughs> Not, not really, because uh, I don't know, but that's not a bad idea. And if there are some people who want to be a part of it, and that is the way that you would like to be a part of it, knock yourselves out. Um, I, I could definitely put something together. I just have to figure out where, where on earth uh, the shipping uh, destination will be. This question was uh, about the uh, riding uh, uh, bikes, uh, m uh, motorbikes to Argentina. Um, that's kind of like the cloud up there. <laughs> it's, it's an idea. Um, I would definitely, it wouldn't happen within two years, but if there are people who, you know, think that's a cool idea, uh, start saving. Uh, and um, perhaps after two years or so, that's something that I could do uh, depending on my cash flow. But breaking even is my new goal, and I think I will accomplish that once I convert to vegetable oil. Yeah, obviously converting is uh, the reason to, uh, you know, cut costs and, you know, uh, continue on. Um, next question, did I find bus two? Well, I've found potential bus twos. <laughs> um, <laughs> my preference was to have air conditioning, but on these larger buses, uh, sometimes the air conditioning unit is the entire freaking ceiling. I don't think I would want that. Sometimes the air conditioning unit, there's three, uh, which would kind of you know I want a nice aesthetic here so that would kind of mess that up um, but I did find one it does have a handicap door I don't like handicap doors but it does have a really good motor so I don't know and the next very nice comment and question is uh, about the length of it um, I think the length would be an additional six to eight feet longer than my previous bus the previous bus was about 22 23 feet so I think about 30 total. Well, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Next question is how quick would I be getting into bus number two? Uh, I might buy it within the coming days. Um, today is a Monday. I might buy it by Friday. Uh, I might buy it by next Monday. I'm not really sure. It's not 100%. Uh, and, uh, and then about two, by the early May, I would probably set sail. Um, towards Canada, do the oil conversion with badge, and also my friend Michael, Navigation Nowhere, uh, he, we just had a conversation yesterday, he might fly out for that, uh, to be a part of the whole journey from start to finish, um, so, pop, very soon, very soon. Alright, uh, uh, the next question is, um, what does it mean to you to know that you've inspired so many people, some you've met personally, and some I haven't, to begin their own travel and schooly adventures? Um, first of all, that's awesome. <laughs> Everybody should do it. Um, no, but realistically, it's an honor. I don't know if that's something I even thought of. Um, uh, doing it in a school bus Honestly, it just kind of came to me one day when I was in Big Sur, if you guys saw that video. Um, just with the amount of savings that I had and what I wanted to do and trying to be on the road for at least a year, um, it just made sense. RVs are super expensive, schoolies are a bit less, um, you know, all, all of that. So I, I think it's fun. I think we're onto something here, guys. Um, <laughs> anytime I talk to somebody who owns an RV, they're always complaining about some piece component of the RV like breaking or falling apart or getting water in it or something um, and really the only things that go wrong on the school bus is um, is like the uh, you know the engine you know which is normal any engine goes out at some point but um, if you build it then you know how to fix it so this is a very different this is like a DIY crowd even if you have no experience like roll with it Scott um, like, he wasn't a builder. I wasn't a builder. A bunch of people weren't builders. I think Dean maybe had some of the most knowledgeable, you know, the schoolie, uh, the most knowledgeable experience beforehand. Steampunk Steve, he was, he's a very smart guy. He knew some stuff beforehand. Um, and then you'll meet my buddy Michael later on. He's, you know, like a builder kind of guy. But 
everybody's DIY, so it's 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 kind of awesome in that respect. So hopefully that was answered the question. Um, it's an honor. And uh, the second part of the question is, when I began the travels in Dan, did I ever envision uh, that I'd have the type of impact on people and their lives? I mean, thank you um, for saying that. I, I, I don't guess I see too much of the other side. I was very blown away with people at the RTR and how they just came up to me and, you know, would just... It, they, they genuinely cared. Um, and so I find it amazing that through this medium of videos that I can share my life, my travels and, and, and people not just watch, but, but it's like they, they, they care. It's, it's like a reality show, but it's, it's actually real. It's not fake. <laughs> you know, there's no producer saying like, Hey, let's talk about this or that. Um, just whatever I'm thinking. So, uh, it, it's it's awesome. I, I hope it continues. And, um, you know, this is a, def a great alternative to uh, RVs, great alternative to an apartment, great alternative to, um, yeah, just, you know, a way to live. And, and you know, if, if you're, um, if you can make money on the road, you know, like Chris, the video game music composer for Star Wars, I mean, I don't, if you like travel, then why not? I say go for it. <laughs> All right, next question is why am I selling the bus? I think by now the information's been out there. Um, but just to reiterate, I'm selling the bus for cost reasons, cash flow reasons. Vegetable oil will be insanely, insanely cheaper, especially if I can pick that stuff up for free. Um, the only way I can continue on with these videos in the bus traveling as much as I do is to change my fuel consumption, uh, so that's why I'm going to vegetable oil. Either that, or I gotta turn this, you know, the channel off. I go, get, gotta go get a job. Um, really, there's no reason in my logical mind to make more money to spend more money. Why not just spend less money and then continue on as is, you know? Okay, next question um, is about uh, searching and finding for a bus. Yes, I will be documenting that part of it. Um, but I, I won't be saying who I'm calling beforehand. I'll probably have a, a, some kind of list um, because things are always changing to the day. Uh, that's some sometimes why I, I kind of uh, you know mention something and, and then talk about it later is because it's not set in stone. Uh, the other part of the question is um, about the 7.3 Turbo that's also known as the International T444E. Would I use it for the veggie conversion? It is a very, very good engine for the veggie conversion. International makes used to make Ford's engines. It's the same identical engine, basically. Uh, well documented. Lots of information on the engine for conversion. Uh, I'm looking at something a little bit different with uh, inline six. Uh, there's not a lot of information for the vegetable conversion. However, it's a very, very good engine. Next question is, what is the easiest way to meet or be around uh, people on the road traveling? Um, let's see. RTR, fantastic place. Uh, Enigmatic Nomadics uh, Van Build Party, also a very great place. Lots of people go to both. Um, besides that, I would say in the wintertime, hang out around Quartzsite. Uh, if you want to meet more kind of uh, stationary nomads, I would say... Uh, watch Bob Wells cheap RV living and see different you know public lands places uh, he's more kind of a migratory migratory bird going from one place to another uh, seems like on a consistent basis um, besides that um, any national park tons of people traveling but those are more like vacationers the full-time people hang out in locations more for a, a bit longer um, that are friendlier to people dwelling in their, their vehicles. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> Next question is, have I asked a RV company, uh, brand to, to do YouTube videos for them? No, uh, I'm not traveling in an RV and I'm not sure they would want a person in a school bus in an RV if I'm the right fit. However, in the future of some, you know, uh, cool adventure brand, you know, like maybe Sportsmobile is like, Hey, We'll give you a, a van to <laughs> uh, drive around or have, you know, just make videos in. Uh, depending on the deal, I, I, I might take it. Um, 
Uh, but you know, I, I, honestly, I wouldn't do something that wouldn't fit my personality and my, my likes and things like that. Um, I wouldn't be in a gigantic class A, are they called? Uh, the tour buses, it's really, you know, they're nice, but I am more into like homemade and funky, I guess. <laughs>